Hi, it's Chef Mike Panja, and today we're going to tackle a classic French dish, quiche Lorraine. Now, whether or not real men eat quiche or not, I can't say. I think they do. I think real men are independent thinkers and will try something new, uh, see if they like it and make a decision, make their own decision. I don't think they have to be dictated to by telling them that real men won't eat quiche. I suspect they will and I suspect they'll enjoy it. For inspiration, I've used Julia Child's method. Not just inspiration, I've actually copied her recipe from Mastering the Art of French Cooking. A wonderful book, by the way. I highly recommend it. So let's get into it and make some quiche Lorraine. A key factor in a successful pie crust or pastry crust is to keep it cool while you're working it. You don't want the butter or shortening to soften or start to melt before it's ready to be baked. So I've done two things here. One, I have the butter and the shortening in the freezer for about 30 minutes. I'm ready to take them out now. The second thing I'm going to do is prepare all the other ingredients that the butter is going to be added to before I take it out of the freezer. So it'll be out for the shortest time. Using the food processor will help get the job done as soon as possible. Here's the flour, the salt, and the sugar. Now the butter's out of the freezer and Julia wants us to cut it into 3 8 inch cubes, which is what I'm going to do. that to the flour. Now we have the vegetable shortening. I'm going to break it into a few pieces. Put it in with the flour and the butter. Now we pulse it a few times. Now we're going to add what Julia calls a scant half cup of ice water and the trick is to add it all at once while the machine is running. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Looks like it's formed a dough. Now we'll lightly flour our work surface and dump the dough out. Taking a small piece at a time and working quickly, we're going to basically make a six inch long smear with each piece. Now that we have formed it back into a kind of a smooth ball, I want to wrap it in plastic wrap and it's going to go into the freezer for one hour. Now I have a seven inch spring pan that I want to coat with butter. I have softened butter here and I'm going to use pastry brush to coat the inside of the spring pan. Well here's our dough ball back from the freezer. Start to shape it by beating it down. Roll it out to about one eighth inch thick. Now 
Now I'm going to fold it in quarters. and put it in the pan. Now, we want to press it down gently without tearing it. Use your rolling pin to trim off the excess. I'm going to put a few slits in the bottom of the pie so that it won't puff up later from the bottom. Now I'm going to line the pie crust with aluminum foil. and then fill it with dry beans and this is to hold the bottom of the crust down so it doesn't puff up when we're baking it. Now into the oven for about nine minutes at 400 degrees. Now I'm cutting the bacon into quarter inch strips. Now we want to let the bacon pieces simmer for about five minutes. Now we'll drain the bacon. Now we'll spread it out on paper towels to dry. Now we want to lightly brown the bacon. Then we'll spread it out and press it down. Now for the filling. I need to make some dots for the top of this thing. Now fill the crust about three quarters full.
Well, there you have it, my friends. Quiche Lorraine, as brought to you by Julia Child and Chef Mike Pangia. I hope you'll make it and enjoy it. Now, I have a couple of cautions to put out for you regarding this. Like almost every recipe that I copy from someone else that I'm making their recipe, I'm following their directions. I have to make it multiple times before I'm happy with it. And that was the case with this quiche Lorraine. I had to make it twice. The reason was something I hope you'll avoid, that I didn't bake the final version long enough for it to gel properly, for it to solidify properly. And I learned that by experience. As soon as it turned a little bit brown, a little bit toasty on top, I thought it was done. I pulled it out and it really wasn't done. It was too loose. So I did it again and increased the time. I did everything the same way, increased the time to about 35 minutes and it came out pretty good. Toasty on top, it puffed up and it was set and delicious. I am going to try something different next time I make it. I'm going to add some shredded cheese. Now my preferred cheese because it's tasty, economical and it melts well is Munster. But you can use Gruyere or you can use Swiss Emmentaler, Swiss cheese shredded and it'll be just right. It'll add a nice texture and body to the quiche. I think it'll be well worth trying. About a half a cup shredded should be just right. Well, I trust that you yourself have subscribed and I want to make sure that you share this video with other friends you have that are interested in cooking and good food and doing things the right way. I'd appreciate that. Meanwhile, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again next time.